All right, this is the Algebra 2 Practice EOC question number 9. And the question says, the daily high temperatures in degrees Fahrenheit in Chattanooga, Tennessee for two one-week periods are listed below. So all of these temperatures here. What is the interquartile range? Again, that's one of the keywords that I think I would underline in this problem for these data over the two weeks, okay? And pretty much the interquartile range is the median of the lower half minus the median, sorry, the median of the upper half minus the median of the lower half, okay? So what you're first going to have to do is kind of arrange these numbers in your first week from least to greatest. So you ha should have 82, 85, 86, 89, 90, 90, and then 91. So that's your median, I mean, so that's your data from least to greatest in your first week. So your median is going to be the number that's in the middle. So your median of this first set of data, of your lower set of data, is 89. Okay? Well, now you just need to do the same thing for your second set of data. Okay, so arrange it in order from least to greatest. So you could have 89, 91, 92, 92, 94, 95, and 99. So again, this is all your data, and you have to find the median, the number that's in the middle, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, you're left with 92. And again, what I said at the beginning, or at least I tried to say at the beginning, your median or your interquartile range is the median of your upper half, or the second set of data, minus the median of this lower half of data. And when you subtract 92 minus 89, it's just going to give you that your answer is three. All right, another way that you can plug this information in is you can use your calculator as another kind of easy way to do these problems. If you press second on your calculator and then press stat, it's going to, I'm sorry, just press stat, it'll take you to this table where you have the choice to edit, calculate, or do tests. Well, let's just edit. Okay, once you press enter, you're going to be underneath your L1, and then you just need to enter in every single value that you have in your table. Okay, and it does not even have to be in order. You can enter in 90, 86, 91, 85, 82, 89, 90, 89, 92, 92, 94, 91, 99, and 95 okay so now that you have all of your values entered under this first column under your L1 you now just have to press stat again okay slide over to calculate and you're gonna look for option number one which is first variable stats press enter enter and it's gonna give you this whole table of values and it's gonna give you all these kind of Greek symbols here all you need to do is press this down arrow and it's going to show you your median of all the data, your Q3, and then your Q1. Well, if you notice, our Q3 is the same thing as this 92, and our Q1 is the same thing as this 89. So your interquartile range is just Q3 minus Q1. So again, you can just go ahead and plug those into your calculator and do 92 minus 89, and that will give you your answer of 3 as well. Good luck on your EOC.